This is really, especially with everyone around. Okay, ready? And action. So in the Heister lab, we're trying to get new reactivity out of old proteins. In general, photophysics has very standard ways that solvent properties relate to photophysical principles like energy transfer and electron transfer. But, dirty little secrets. Essentially what we do is we try to find new molecules that haven't been found yet um, and structurally characterize them and see exactly what they can do for us and in nature. We've been able to develop a 115 member mononucleotide library that allows us to perform thousands of quantitative biochemical investigations in a single experiment. They're interested in molecular shapes for cancer treatment. So that's just my research. Promise you as a model. <laughs> so at this point, we are all very familiar with the problem of having too much carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, a lot of which is related to the burning of fossil fuels. So what I work on is the development of bimetallic alloys that, when coupled with uh, electricity, can actually catalyze the reduction of CO2 into alternative products, such as carbon monoxide or ethane. Ideally, products that could potentially be used as alternative energy sources. So we can think of this as a combination of environmental remediation and addressing an impending fuel shortage. Woo! So, noise. Noise is bad. Or at least that's what everyone thought. Turns out we can do interesting and novel things with noise. So the idea of this work is we have a methodology where we start with some desired system dynamics, then we turn the handle and concoct an environment, a noisy environment, that it results in those desired dynamics. But, obviously, the tricky part is then interpreting those results. So we've got this noise, what does it mean? Listen, the bacteria are talking to each other. They are trying to see if they have reached the quorum to start doing something really, really bad for human health. And what we are doing is to decipher their language and spy in their communication system. In this way, we can stop them from doing anything bad before they even start. That's it.